The proposed Community Facilities Bond Plan includes $375 million to complete these important projects in our community. A.M. Davis Elementary School, Bensley Elementary School, Grange Hall Elementary School, and Middle Othian Middle School. These projects will provide additional capacity within these schools and will also help relieve overcrowding in the attendant zone areas. The capital improvement projects supported by these proposed referendum will also support the expansion of Thomasdale High School to provide greater capacity for students in a modernized facility. There is also a clear need for a new high school in the Western 360 area. This will be the first new high school since Cosby opened in 2006. A new elementary school in the Western 360 area is also needed due to the rapid population growth. We know that a strong education system is one of the most important components of a first choice community. The school division in Chesterfield continues to grow. We're one of the few school divisions in the nation that continue to see this type of growth. We need modern, safe environments that are not overcrowded to serve our community. Given this growth the division is experiencing, the opportunity to expand and to build is well overdue in some cases. The rebuild and new construction of schools is intended to give students the best opportunities. This includes having enough space in their classrooms and having enough space in the building to allow for collaboration. These buildings also provide meeting spaces for the community through cafeterias, auditoriums, and libraries. Schools are a major part of a successful community. This is true for our students, but also for the wider community. A good school system supports economic development and strong property values. It's important to note that the projects addressed in the bond referendum are not the only school projects that are needed in Chesterfield. If the bond referendum does not pass, it would create further delays in addressing these very important needs. We feel honored that our community believes in our school system and recognizes the value of the education being provided in these facilities. We have support from parents as well as the business community because much of our workforce in Chesterfield County is a direct result of our school system. The school division successfully deployed bond funds from the 2013 referendum to improve school facilities. The projects that are included in the upcoming referendum are intended to meet important school construction needs that will deliver safe new facilities that enhance student instruction and achievement for a growing community. These proposed projects will provide modern and safe learning environments for all students, meet the demands of up to 6,000 new students over the next five years, replace outdated schools, build new schools to meet capacity needs across Chesterfield, expand secondary schools, reduce the use of modular classrooms or trailers. The needs at A.M. Davis go beyond what can be achieved through a remodel. It is more cost effective to tear it down and rebuild on the site to give students a larger, more modern facility. This project will increase our capacity in the building by 900 students to accommodate the growth occurring in that area. The same situation exists at Bensley. It's an old facility and the students would be best served by tearing the school down and rebuilding. We're also going to place the facility on the back part of the property to enhance parking and entry and exit for buses. Grange Hall is over 100 years old. We've done everything possible to maintain and restore the facility over time. We've had six or seven generations go through that school and it is time to put a new school there. Midlothian Middle School is also nearly a century old. Various improvements have been piecemeal together over time there. Changes in traffic along Midlothian Turnpike over time also necessitate that we move the school to a new location. All of the rebuilds are going to be larger facilities. Instead of a facility accommodating 500 to 600 students, these facilities will serve more students to handle the growth that's occurring. We have an opportunity to add to the existing Thomasdale High School campus at the back of the site. We have students split across two campuses currently, so this expansion would put all students on one site. Projects included in the Community Facilities Bond Plan would occur from 2022 to 2030. 
While two of the elementary schools have a planned timeline, most of our project timing is still to be determined. We've already started preparing for architect drawings and other preparation work needed. Once we break ground, we usually can build a facility in 18 to 20 months. I think we have done a great job in making sure our students have outstanding opportunities to learn in safe environments. What is proposed in the community facilities bond plan is intended to strengthen our school system and the community as a whole.